What's up, people? Rob Barrington here for another weekly challenge with our robots here on Bridge Base. And we are hitting off the week with a really nice hand here. We have a nice 17 count with a five card heart suit. So you know my thoughts on this, right? You're you're gonna open a no trump pretty much every time you have a five card major when you're within the no trump range, except <laughs> except for this one circumstance. When you're at the maximum end of your no trump range, which is 17, you're too good when you have a good five card suit. You're kind of upgrading this hand to 18, which is what we're going to do with this. So we're still gonna treat it as a balanced hand. We're gonna open a heart. And whatever partner does, well, they're raising to two hearts now, so we have a little different idea of what's going on. But if, let's say, partner bid a no trump, or let's say they bid a spade, my next bid would be two no trump to show 18, 19 balanced. Here, our partner raised hearts. Uh, and just kind of go about it this way. If you equate this hand to 18, which is kind of what I've done here. Not kind of what I've done. It's exactly what I've done here. <laughs> so, so if I'm treating this as like 18, and my partner here... Uh, has shown six to nine still, right? That, that's what that's what their two heart bid beat. I, I suppose it could be a bad ten, but here uh, I don't need to really invite. I'm gonna just bid a game, and I I'm gonna hope my partner isn't like on the super low end of this. I don't love bringing the robots in with these tight um, invitational sequences, and now we 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 can see that we have a different choice on our on our uh, on our menu here. Now they've bid four spades. So notice uh, this player here, the East player, passed originally. But then they got super excited when their partner doubled, right? Their partner showed cards in all the unbid suits, and this player here just can't resist bidding a whole bunch of spades. So that certainly means, number one, they probably have a lot of spades, and number two, our partner doesn't have too many of them. So it's an interesting hand. We we probably are going to just double four spades. Uh, and here we're, we're, we're kind of trying to recoup the score that we would have achieved in four hearts if we were making, which, honestly, if partner shortened spades, and we... If they have the right cards, we might make five hearts, but here I think we're just more likely to go plus doubling, and that's exactly what I'm going to choose to do. And here I'm just going to make the most normal lead of all time, the king of hearts, king from top of touching honors. You don't need to have all three. We're just trying to develop a trick before we get in with our ace of spades, which is going to be right now, or with our ace of diamonds. So here I'm going to play low here. Uh, only because I'm always going to be able to take my ace, right? So here, just in case they were going to take some sort of super deep finesse at this point, I'm going to give them the opportunity to do that. But now is the time that it's taking tricks time. So let's hope that survives. It did. Uh, question is, what do we do now? And the answer is, it's a tough choice, right? Uh, we're in four spades level, so we need two more tricks. I'm just going to safely exit my hand. Um, I don't know, though. Let's see. Let's Let's see what's going on in partner's hand. Let's think about this. Partner had zero points in spades, right? So let's cross that off. Zero points in spades. They had zero points in hearts also, right? The declarer won the ace of hearts. We had king, queen, jack. Um, they have at most one point in diamonds. So where are their points? Where are their six to nine? Uh, they're in clubs most likely, right? If they have six to nine, right? So here, as weird as this play might look to bang down the king of clubs, I think it's important because you can see the writing on the wall. If you don't bang down this king of clubs, let's say we exit a spade. Uh, they win in their hand. They lead a diamond towards that dummy, and we're in a pickle here with this ace, right? And they can probably continue to do that and maybe lead another spade to their hand. So here... I'm pretty confident partner has some points in clubs, so I'm just going to try to create a, a club trick now. Getting rid of the ace, hopefully creating the queen as a trick in my partner's hand, maybe the jack if we're lucky. And here I get to hop up with my ace safely and hope that partner has those tricks. And that's what happens when you count the points, folks. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to figure out what's right. And I'm glad I took just a little extra time there to uh, make sure we got that portion of the hand right. As it looks, uh, diamonds were 3-3. So they were going to be able to pitch a loser on the diamond, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah, they would have been able to pitch that low club if we got off to a diamond uh, trick there. So that was a nice start here. Nice little defensive uh, position. And, and notice the auction's helpful, right? We we know partner has some sort of raise over there. So they, they've shown up with a total, and we knew it at this point. They've shown up with a total of zero points in spades and hearts, right? And they have at most one point in diamonds. So they have to have some points in clubs, at least the queen, we hope, right? Unless they're totally broke. Uh, but here you can see, there we there we were, and there was 85.7%. Uh, looks like hearts is going down, so we chose the right action here. And other people are either letting them make four spades or they didn't push high enough. 
Uh, some people bid three no Trump. They, oh, there you go. There's your opening bid of one no Trump. <laughs> and unfortunately, you didn't realize that was a transfer to clubs and you bid too much. <laughs> so the people that did get to play clubs are the ones that figured out that transfer. And there was your pathway to your best score. However, folks, this is not a one no Trump opening bid. All right? so it's too good. right? So just because, and we don't play a game called results. We play a game called bridge. right? So when you see a result like that, don't go, oh my God, I should have opened a no Trump. Rob is so wrong. Uh, no, no, not at all. right? You've done well. You've done well. They've taken a different route, which isn't ideal for every situation. It happened to be ideal for this specific situation. right? So, so don't get down on yourself. Keep making those good decisions and you will be far ahead of those other players in the long run. All right, back in business. Uh, well, easy opening bid again. One spade right here, our major suit. And that's all she wrote, folks. Take it always in this case, if you're wondering what to do, just look at partners raise. It's six to nine or six to a bad 10. Can you make game up to that? The answer is no, right? Add all your points together. Add as many extra points as you want to, right? You can even cheat. <laughs> You're still not going to get there, right? So here, happy to play two. You might compete to the three level or your partner might in the future. But at this point, there's no reason to do that because we're not being forced to do so. So here, they want to draw Trump. Go right ahead. We don't, have any, <laughs> we don't have any desire to be trumping anything. Here, we might have a finesse in clubs for the... For the 10, uh, if, if they decided to lead a club back there, we would have had a nice free finesse. They didn't. So let's just draw some Trump. I'm going to stay in that dummy over there when I draw Trump because I want to lead the nine of clubs. A, a robotism here would be to cover this. Uh, they didn't. So it makes me think the 10 is to our left. If it falls there, that would be nice. Okay, maybe it's an even distribution. So we're not going to test clubs yet. Excuse me, it's a... Uh, I bang into the microphone here. Uh, we want to see what's going on in diamonds first, right? So we're going to lead low towards our hand, or towards that dummy over there. Boom. Uh, anything they do would be okay for us here. Even if clubs are not breaking. Oh, no. Now it's an embarrassment of riches. So if clubs weren't breaking, though, let's say, let's say they pitched on this one. We would win our jack of clubs. We would play a diamond to the king. We would rough a diamond, right? And now we might be able to pitch that club if the diamond's set up. If the diamonds are 3-3, three, three, we're home free, but we just figured out clubs are 3-3. Three, three, so that's Claim City, folks. And that is a solid 60.7%. And there she is. Uh, I would guess we're tied for top or whatever it was. Sorry. <laughs> Somebody bid four. And that's just too much, folks. That's just way too much to hope for. You get lucky that you take 10 tricks on this hand. But look at what had to be right for that to happen, right? The diamond ace has to be on side. Clubs are breaking evenly. Everything's good for this hand. So you're not worried. Again, results-wise, don't look at that and say, oh, my God, what a great play. You know, I should have done that. No way, right? You're very happy to be in this nice zone, like, like the peloton of the uh, cycling races, right? You're in that pack of people that are doing consistently correct things, and you're going to score consistently better after all 12 boards, right? So these random hands might prove to be higher scoring by a different route, but it doesn't mean it's the right route. It was that time, not this time. All right, next case, folks. Uh, here's 15. <laughs> I mean, here's what I tell people. It's usually, usually try not to open an O-Trump with two worthless doubletons. However, when you have a difficult rebid problem, you might as well just open a no Trump in my book. So I'm, I'm not terrified of both of those suits. I'm going to open a no Trump. I have 15 to 17 balanced. My problem is if I open a club, my partner bids a spade. I just hate all my rebid problems. So I'm just going to open a no Trump and hopefully alleviate the issues here. Uh, wow, they showed natural clubs and uh, five spades. That's amazing. Uh, I mean, if they're short in diamonds, that would be nice. What are we showing with this? Uh, I'm just going to bid three hearts. What's three diamonds? Two to five. All right. I'm going to bid three hearts and see what that does for the robots. I don't know what it's supposed to do. <laughs> and now we'll pass. We'll hope they have some good diamonds over there. We have a lot of tricks for no Trump. It looks like we have six tricks in our own hand. Unfortunately, the stiff king of diamonds is over in dummy. Wow. I, I thought I was showing, you know, some hearts and hoping they had diamonds. So this could be absolutely terrible for us um but let's hope they led fourth best from their ace of diamonds if they did we're taking a boatload of tricks folks oh my god so lucky <laughs> so lucky but now that we got lucky folks chance favors the prepared mind let's try to take the maximum trickage here we are in a terrible contract but we are going to be quite successful um 
I'm not sure. I guess some people might have found their way to four spades on a hand like this. Maybe other people are playing 3-0 on the same lead. There's a heart. What I'm looking for is hearts, folks. There, there was a heart pitch on my right. Another heart pitch. So as I'm going, folks, I started with seven hearts. I just start cranking those in my head. So there's two heart pitches. That means there's nine total hearts that I can count so far. Uh, there's ten. Wow. Uh, nine of clubs. We're going to pitch a spade. Um, there's only three hearts left. So I'm going to play the jack. I'm expecting to see the queen here. They always do that. And now we're just, it's, a, it's another embarrassment of riches, folks. All the hearts are good. And we're going to have a little squeeze town here in spades and diamonds, possibly. That's the queen, the jack. The king is gone. The ten and the ace are still what we're looking for. I see the ten. I still haven't seen the ace of diamonds. So... I'm not a uh, I'm not a player that can plan a squeeze out at trick one unless it's super obvious, right? So here, I don't know if this is working or if this was ever even possible to work, right? I'm not even going to spend those precious pieces of gray matter to figure that out. All I know is that the nine of diamonds is not a winner. So if something is working here, it is not diamonds, it is spades. So now we play this spade to the ace and king. And if the six of spades is good at the end, amazing. And if it's not... We couldn't do anything about it, and it's not, as you see that. But solid play, getting the 3-0 Trump here, and <laughs> getting the robots to finally make a normal fourth best lead gives you 78.6%. Wow. One person got the six club B mark. I think they're, they're, they are they're got to be the ones in the lead. I think they were up on uh, the the high part of a score on another one. So they're they're running really good in these three boards. But as I said, folks, long long process here. Um, if you open a club, yeah, if you reverse, you're just overselling this hand. So on this auction, when a club is paid, this hand decided to bid two hearts. That's too big, folks. That shows a good 17 or more, right? So you're better off opening a no trump than dialing yourself into a terrible rebid. However, <laughs> congratulations. You got to six clubs. And is it cold? Let's see. Is, is it always making? I, I'm not even going to look at it here. It looks like, yeah, it's cold. In fact, you have to cash ace of diamonds to, to get it. You do have to kind of figure out the heart position. Although, I guess, no, I'm sorry. Sorry, the spades are 3-3 three, three also. So you can rough spades out. So it's pretty amazing. Did anyone play four spades? No, it was either clubs or no trump. And all the no trumpers breathe the sigh of relief there on that reasonable fourth best lead. But to be honest, look at this play, folks. You're never leading the ace of diamonds. You're always leading the five, right? So the robot did a perfectly normal thing. It just ended up being a disaster because they could have taken the first five tricks. But whew, we escaped. We'll live to fight another day. And I will see you for it tomorrow, folks. Take care and have fun at those tables out there.